now we're going to look at some blocking uh, movement. And we just need uh, one blocker for now. So Grace, you can come back up again. Can you be the middle here? So uh, here's a starting position. I want our blockers to start with their feet about shoulder width apart. And I want their feet to be square so that their weight is on the front of their feet. Their heels could be off the ground a little bit. But basically, I want the big toes to be pushing things, right? So that that part of me is ready to go. Uh, we certainly want to have our hands at about shoulder height. And uh, here, I'm going to put this down. And Grace, you get ready. And I think like that, where they're big and strong already, is good. So that I'm ready to go versus starting with here and then having to do jazz hands to go get people, right? I don't want to do that. I want to be ready here just so that if I get a touch, I'm strong and good to go right away. So that looks good. And I'm just moving Gracie's hands because I want, you can put them down now, I want this uh, to be the line, right? This is, which one is this? Uh, radius maybe, I think? Anyway, one of these arms here on your forearm, I want there to be a line through the webbing of your thumb and forefinger and that's kind of the position that I like our blockers to be. Like that's a straight line right through there and uh, see what happens. So that's a, a good place to start. Then we're going to take a little step. So as we go, so Grace is in this good position, she's going to step and just kind of drop her hands a little bit to about waist height because she's going to turn and run. So let's see, take a little step, good. And then face the pole and go cross over and see what happens. There you go, and jump, da da, just like that. All right, very good, Grace, thank you. So, here we are, in this position. Hands are here, feet are square. I like to start about this far away, however your wrists are, away from the net. If we get too close, we're gonna net and we're not gonna get over. And we can't block many balls if we're just straight up. We got to get over. So we start off. So like we said, first step is here. And maybe it's at, I don't know, 45 or 60 degrees or something. But it's a little step to start. And the idea, the analogy that we're going for is we're trying to go fast, right, by turning and running. So if we would imagine in the 100 meters of the Olympics, there's no one in the starting blocks that's like this, ready to go, right? Everyone's like this, ready to go. And it's the same when we're turning and running. This step is a little step, but knee should be over our toe, shoulders should be over our knee, kind of forcing us to go in that direction as fast as we can. So we take this little step, then we're going to go big, cross over, and we're facing this pole here, and then we get to square up and try to block the ball.